you are the project manager of a team tasked with development a new enterprise software application the project is characterized by well defined requirements a fixed deadline and a large scope with numerous interconnected modules okay several team members are strongly advocating for the agile methodology highlighting its benefits in flexibility and responsiveness given these project characteristics and team preference for agile how should you approach the decision on the project methodology so team preference is also one of the criteria while you are selecting the project methodology because you want to make people work in their comfortable process but you also need to look at other characteristics of the project and some of the characteristics which are given in the questions are indicating that you probably want to go for predictive life cycle well defined requirement fixed deadline so that kind of thing so uh, uh, that's a contradiction this question is is bringing and probably a project manager is, is thinking what should i do i have a passionate team members who are focusing on a child but i have a requirement which might need to be dealt differently so that's a situation so it's a kind of conflict management and project life cycle selection question or empowering team engaging team and listening to team uh, as well is also coming here option a embrace the team enthusiasm for agile adopting it for the project since team motivation is crucial for success it's a option but at the same time i don't just get carried away in team's enthusiasm i am responsible for ensuring delivering project value and facilitating conversation with the teams and with the stakeholders which help us in delivering project value we are not liker or disliker of any process approach yeah we need to select the one which helps our project achieves their objective so a is is little dangerous because it is saying that i will just listen to the team i need to influence them i need to demonstrate leadership rather than just uh, getting carried away with their ideas option b conduct a thorough assessment to determine if agile is the most suitable methodology for this project considering its scope requirement and deadline this is a easy choice i can definitely pick it because it is focusing on analyzing it is not saying i will do it or not do it yeah i am saying okay the project team preference is one of the factor let's see other factors as well and maybe looking at other factors and team factors we will take a call yeah it is not saying we will use it or not use it it is the safe option so i can definitely go with b let's see if we have better than this but as of now out of a and b b looks great option c dismiss the use of agile given the project's well refined requirement and fixed deadline which are typically more aligned with traditional methodology so the point is yes but at the same time the team preference is also one of the factor and i am in the option b i am not saying that i will use agile or not use agile yes there are element which are clearly showing it could be a predictive life cycle but there there is a team enthusiasm also attached to it yeah so i can't just directly say we will follow predictive life cycle yeah so dismissing the team's recommendation may not be a good idea i may conduct the assessment and then i will dismiss it because it is directly making me act you remember we need to follow acknowledge analyze and act and be saying analyze it before you act on it because the the the, the other parameters may also be need to be considered option d implement a hybrid approach applying agile to a certain modules of the project while a traditional methodology to others balancing team preference and project requirements it could be the final conclusion there is a most likely you will go with the hybrid approach because the project is showing some characteristics of technology and all which might be benefited by incremental way of working when there are definitely more which are focusing on predictive way of working but the only issue here is it is direct recommendation i am assuming that this is how it will work yeah so very close yeah i would say b and d are very close but why i still recommend again this question is made by me so i am my i am making it to recommend in a pmi style of thinking we usually focus on we got a suggestion we need to make sure that we 
look at that particular suggestion we provide a sufficient data and conversation and then we move to the decision the option d is directly telling that this is the decision it could be the decision yeah uh, i personally believe it might happen after you do all the analysis but the option b tells that i will talk to my team i will figure out various parameter i will put the proper analysis and then I will take care of the Agile recommendation and after that we will decide which life cycle will be suitable for us. So in my mind, it's a close choice. But yes, if you face these kind of question, I believe you should go with option B because it is helping us in analyzing the situation first. Now, if you look at the issues, this question is definitely focusing on task 13, which is of the process domain, focusing on determining appropriate project methodology, method and practices. It is also focusing on people domain task 14, which is focusing on empower team member and stakeholders because we need to give a recommendation and they should have an option to find out their own views and their own processes rather than I am the one who always leads. So I need to engage with team members as well in the process selection process. Yes, overall we are focusing on a topic related to project lifecycle selection.